lovely people and welcome to my channel. As the title of this channel suggests, my name is Micah and this is Making It With Micah. And this channel is all about DIYs, decor, and just pretty things. A little bit about me since you've probably never seen me before. I'm a 30 something year old mother and wife. I have two children. I have a 16 year old son named Marcus and I have a 16th month old daughter named Sophia. And I'm married to a wonderful man named Ryan. By day, I'm an attorney. So by profession, I practice law. But by night, my passion is to do crafts, to do DIYs. Um, I've been doing DIYs since I was a little girl. And you know, I figured I've been wanting to do a channel like this for some time and to share my passion with others. But I've been living in fear and I was nervous. And you know, but if there's one thing that 2020 has taught me, it's to step out on faith and not live in fear. You know, life is short, life is precious, and you know, just go for it. So we'll see, hopefully there's interest. I, I will still do crafts one way or the other, but I hope you all like the content that I produce. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As the name of this video suggests, this is a DIY and a, in which I'm gonna help you make pretty things for your New Year's Eve party. If you're like me, you're probably gonna be at home for New Year's Eve, but it doesn't mean it, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't mean it does not have to be fun. All of the things that I've made for this video, I've used, I've made using Dollar Tree products. Um, I did buy some spray paint and some glue from other places, but for the most part, everything's from the Dollar Tree, super affordable. And a lot of the pieces you can reuse for other parties or other events in the future. If you like this video and you like this content, it would mean so much to me if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel. Furthermore, I wanna hear your thoughts about it. I wanna hear what I did right. I wanna hear what I did wrong. You know, I love feedback. I think it's so important um, in terms of your growth and development as a human being. So I'm really open to that. So let me know what you think, but also let me know in the comments what other kinds of videos you want to see. Um, some of the things that I'm working on currently are I'm making over a wood playhouse for my daughter. I've already made over her play kitchen or her Ikea play kitchen. I'll try to link a video or a picture of that um, somewhere around here if I can figure out how to do it. Um, I also have DIY'd a faux fireplace, which is to my left. I don't think you can see it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's my passion. I, I just love to be able to be creative and express myself in that way. So if you like that kind of stuff, let me know. I would be happy to take you along on the journey of my the Playhouse makeover. I'm thinking of making it into a bakery, like a French bakery. I may have gotten a little in over my head, but we'll see. Um, hopefully at the end of this video, I can get my husband and my toddler to do a little cameo. My teenage son is really embarrassed about this whole process, so I probably won't be able to talk him into it, but we'll see. So stick around to the end and maybe they'll make a little cameo. I will link all of my socials in the description box. Let's be friends. I'm, I'm pretty active on Instagram. I don't really go on Twitter and I'm still trying to figure out TikTok. I mean, I was born in the 80s, so you know, for some of you, I might be a little old, but um, I'm learning. But you know, I would love to connect with you there. I would love to be friends. I always post about my family, my children, and my DIYs and my decor there. And I would love to be able to inspire you and hopefully also be inspired by you. So let's connect, okay? I've gone on and on enough. Let's get into these DIYs and uh, enjoy. Okay, so I have used these two cans of spray paint for all of my DIYs. I will link them in the description box. For this first DIY, you're gonna to wanna to grab the circle mirror from the Dollar Tree. And because we're going to spray paint it, I'm gonna cover the mirror part with painter's tape. Be sure to use care when you cover it with painter's tape. Um, don't press too hard. I've done that and I've cracked the mirror. After it's completely covered, you're gonna to wanna to grab the, one of these ceramic candle pillars from the Dollar Tree. This is gonna go on the bottom of the mirror and sort of act like a pedestal. Basically what we're gonna make is a mirror tray. Coat the bottom with E6000 glue and also hot glue. I like to use both types of glue. I find that you get a better hold with both. And once you've added both layers of glue, you're going to attach the pillar to the bottom of the tray. Again, please use care not to crack the mirror. You're gonna let that dry for probably about 15 or 20 minutes and then take it outside and give it a couple coats of spray paint with the gold spray paint. And the 
this is the end result. I really love this DIY. I find that it's very versatile. I mean, you can use it for events. You can also use it as decor in your house. You can use it on your vanity. You just have to be careful not to put too much, you know, too heavy items on the mirror because it could crack. But I think it looks really classy and it really doesn't look like something you would get at the Dollar Tree. This next DIY, you're gonna get an eight by 10 frame and a gift bag. Cut the gift bag to fit and that's it. You have a really pretty piece of decor that really took no time to make. I like this DIY because it's very versatile. You can make different pictures for different events, whether it's Easter, Christmas, birthdays. You just have to find a gift bag that sort of matches the theme. For this next DIY, you're gonna to wanna to grab a feather boa, some Christmas tinsel, and some birthday hats. Now I painted my birthday hats with spray paint. Um, I made a couple black and a couple gold. And then what I did is I attached the tinsel and also the feather boa on a different hat to the bottom of the birthday hat. I also put a little bit of the tinsel on top of the hat. Here is the finished product. I think they're really cute. Again, just like the mirror, it's very versatile. You can sort of make different hats, different colors, use different tinsel, depending on the theme of your event. For this next DIY, you're gonna to wanna to grab one of those metal trays from the Dollar Tree. You're also gonna need Mod Podge, painter's tape, a foam brush and some glitter which I actually got from Walmart but Dollar Tree does carry fine glitter as well after you've covered the middle with painters tape you're gonna put a thick layer of the Mod Podge on the rim of the tray and then coat it with glitter I just want to show you one of my little tricks that I do whenever I'm using glitter you want to grab one of those black trays from the Dollar Tree I believe it's in the automotive section it has like tall sides and then you coat the bottom of the tray with a paper plate that way you can kind of contain all the glitter dust from sort of getting out of the tray but you can also reuse the glitter from the you know by folding the paper plate and pouring it back inside and here's the finished product i really like the way this tray turned out i did put an extra layer of mod podge on top of the glitter to keep it from transferring i think it's really pretty it's really glam definitely doesn't look like something you would get at the dollar tree and you can use different colored glitter for different types of events since we're on a the theme of glitter, I'm also gonna coat this champagne glass from the Dollar Tree with some glitter. I'm gonna basically follow the same process. I don't want the glitter to go all the way to the rim because you know, you do have to drink the champagne. So I've covered the rim or close to the rim with painter's tape. You're gonna follow the same process by putting on a thick layer of Mod Podge. The thicker the better, pun intended. And then, you're gonna dump some glitter all over the glass. Again, if you use a paper plate, you can catch it and sort of reuse it. I think it's really pretty, really glam. Certainly does not look like something you would get at the dollar store. You put it on that tiered tray and I think you just have such a cute little setup. This is one of my favorites. I mean, everything's basically my favorite, but. Okay, so this next DIY is a little weird, but we're gonna go with it. You're going to want to grab two different types of the zip ties from the Dollar Tree and a headband. And then you're just going to sort of weave the zip ties around the top of the headband to create any kind of pattern that you like. I sort of alternated between the tall and the medium size zip ties. After that's done, you're going to take the headband outside and give it a coat of spray paint or two. I use the gold colored spray paint. And this is the end result. I mean, it's a little odd, you know, it kind of turned a little weird, um, but I guess if you wanted to do like an interpretive dance for New Year's Eve, that would be what you would wear. <laughs> Next, you're gonna wanna grab some of the poster letters and poster numbers at the Dollar Tree. They are adhesive, so you can stick them to different things. Grab some garlands and some black poster paper. And what I did was basically cut out triangles along the poster board. After the triangles are cut out, I punched holes in the shorter side of the triangle. You're gonna wanna make sure that the holes are not too close to the edge because you are gonna weave a garland in the holes and if it's too close, it could rip. 
After that's done, I applied all of my letters to form the word or words, Happy New Year. And then I weave the garland in the holes of the banners. And this is the finished result. I think it's super cute. It's also very versatile. For this next DIY, you're going to take some more of those gold numbers. You're also gonna take a glass vase from the Dollar Tree, some large wooden dowels, and some more of that black poster board that we used earlier. Now you're gonna cut out circles. I'm not really good at making shapes, so I'm gonna use this cleaner bottle as a guide. And I'm gonna make four circles. Once I've cut out those circles, I'm going to apply the numbers 2021 to each circle for obvious reasons. And then we're gonna spray paint the vase and the dowels black, put them all together, and this is a finished product. I really love how they turned out. I added some gift bows inside the bottles for a little extra flair. As with most of these DIYs, this is also very versatile. I know that's kind of like the word of this, you know, entire DIY, but in all seriousness, you know, you can switch out the colors, you can add more of the vases if you want to spill out like a longer word. Okay, so for this final DIY, this one is really special to me. Um, essentially what we're going to do is make a message in a bottle. So you're going to take these glass containers with a cork. These are also from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need some index cards and some gold glitter. You're gonna put the glitter in the bottle about three fourths of the way up. To do so, I'm gonna use the world's smallest spoon. I'm not really sure where this spoon came from. It kind of just appeared in my kitchen one day and um, I don't know what it's used for. If you know, please let me know in the comments, but for this particular DIY, it's perfect. So as I mentioned, you're gonna fill it three quarters of the way up. And then you're gonna take the index card and kind of cut it down to size such that it will fit inside of the bottle when it's rolled. And the purpose of this DIY is to really take a moment, write a reflection, or maybe write a New Year's resolution on the piece of paper, stick it in the bottle, and then maybe open it up at the end of 2021 and see you know, if anything came true. I think it's really cute. Um, I think it's kind of thoughtful. Those tea light candle holders I also got from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted them gold, surprise, surprise, as are those tea lights. I also wanted to show you this sort of like modified champagne holder. It's a bucket that was blue. It's just one of those blue storage buckets that the Dollar Tree carries. Um, it's plastic and I spray painted it gold. And then I added some gift bows to the side for a little extra flair. These mercury tea light holders are also from the Dollar Tree. And that is basically it. Oh, well, also <laughs> the backdrop is also from the Dollar Tree, as are those numbers, the 2021. And that's it. I hope you guys like it. I hope it is inspiring to you. I hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve with your loved ones. I hope you all are gonna be safe, happy, and healthy. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. As promised, I wanted to introduce you to my husband, Ryan, and my beautiful daughter, Sophia. And we want to thank you for tuning in to my video today. Um, I Hopefully you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you in 2021. Take care and Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.